Alright, so very quickly before I jump into it, just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with. So there's the oil filter housing here. There's my feed for the turbo. This is for the oil cooler. And obviously I can get a bigger filter here, but that's uh, irrelevant. This is the plug that I've blown right there. And the plug right next to it is the one I want to replace as well right there. Now I could probably access this one as is. However, by just simply removing this uh, bolt here, I can pull the entire housing out of the way. And that will give me access to the two freeze plugs so I can properly clean them and get the two new plugs inside. The other thing that I want to do as well is actually I'm going to use Loctite on the edge of this in order to perhaps give it a better seal. These are supposed to be inter uh, interference fit. So by just knocking them in, they're supposed to stay in. However, it wouldn't hurt to have a little gasket around it. So stay with me. Let's take a look. So I've got everything disconnected. Filters out. Oil feeds line for the turbos out the power, uh, the grounding straps out. So basically I'm just going to do this bolt there and the entire assembly along with the oil cooler will just pop right out. So we've got a lot more space to work with the, the two plugs that I need to replace. This gasket is basically uh, new, so I'm gonna try and uh, reuse it. So we're gonna do that. So the plan here, clean this up a little bit where the first plug is supposed to go. That's easy, get the first plug in. If this goes without a hiccup, then the next point is to get this guy out um, and we'll see how we're gonna do that. But ultimately, it should be fairly straightforward. These are more or less pressed in, so just knock it around and, and get the new plug in. All right, so you guys can see uh, kind of what I've done here. So what I did is I went ahead and cleaned the hole as much as I could. Uh, you saw earlier that there was uh, some leftover from a gasket maker type product which I removed. So it looks like somebody's already been inside the plug and replaced it. Um, what I'm going to do uh, before I throw this guy in, I took some sandpaper, cleaned that hole again, and then I took some brake cleaner uh, on the rag just to make sure that it's, it's nice and clean, nice and dry so that the uh, Loctite that I'm going to throw in there is actually going to uh, have some effect. Before you go ahead and throw this on, what you want to do is you want to find yourself a socket that actually fits as snugly as possible inside the uh, plug. In my case, that will be a one inch. Uh, however, if you're uh, in a pinch, a 24, number 24 metric would also work. It's just a tiny little bit slower. So this should actually be quite, quite good. So what's going to happen is, I'm gonna apply the Loctite here. The plug goes there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hammer it into place like this. There it is, a bunch of red Loctite. Now there's a ton of product you could have probably used here. You could use gasket maker just like the previous um, guy who installed this into the car did. Uh, I certainly read somewhere that uh, the red Loctite does a decent job at sealing this and, and essentially locking it into place. So now that we've got it, here goes in the socket and the socket goes into place. Now, after that, we just give it a little tap, 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 tap. As you can see, my socket actually stayed inside. Now, there is a border at the back of this, so you can't really go beyond. You can't really push it into the engine sort of thing on this side. So, you know, just tap it until, like you can hear in this case, you basically it's tapping on the engine. You can hear it quite solid. And then what you want to do is you want to get your socket out of there. All right, there it is. So a couple of bloody knuckles. I suppose, because this is very tight, you probably maybe want to use that 24 size socket that I was talking about to avoid your socket being essentially pressed into the hole together with the plug. 
Now, if we went a little bit closer, I just wipe down the Loctite so you can take a look at what we've done there. I've got a couple of ideas of how to take this out, but ultimately what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it in the middle here to effectively crumble it and try and get it out. Now I'm noticing quite a little bit of quite a bit of garbage actually coming out of the cooling system here. So what that tells me is that the idea to flush this whole setup is actually really not that bad, seeing as what kind of garbage is coming out of there. So let's see how easy this job really really is. I suspect we might need a bigger tool for this particular job. So I went through it. Great. Oh, there we go. So the plug appears to have freed itself up. So it's just a matter of pulling it out. There it is. All right, that was actually not so hard. There we go. I highly deformed it. But one thing we will, you can notice, is no gasket maker compound. Which means, like I suspected, that the original plug was actually replaced on this side. So, same procedure as before, clean it up, sand it, um, a little bit of brake cleaner, and just pop the new plug in. Um, just completed the engine flush. Yee. That does not look right. Um, I guess it's a good thing we got it out. So I'm gonna go through a couple of cycles now with clean water until this thing comes out clean and uh, go ahead and throw some proper coolant in it. 